Welcome back to Ita Race. This is week 89, day five. Uh, defenses, we got a success. So let's take a look. All right, so we got a Leon. Summoner supported, uh, reposition and quick repose. So literally the exact same as mine, except he has three flowers. Mine has no flowers yet. Or is someone supporting? Uh, Peony, Fury, Wings of Mercy, Distant Guard, Glimmer. Falling Julia, plus one, plus two. Uh, reposition, Attack, Ploy. A Brave Lynn, plus eight, plus four. Brave Bow, Double Swiss Sparrow, Savage Blow. Uh, pretty cool. And lastly, their air plus two plus one with reposition and even rest wave. Very interesting. Uh, I would say like the um, rest tactics would probably be better since you, there's two infantries, two flyers, and one cavalry, so you're not overlapping on units. But yeah, whoops, animations map animations are important all right so they clear up some stuff and they're going up the left side with Leon unfortunately this Leon just got panic because they put him right here in front of the panic manor so there goes Bernie. Luckily for Leon, he does negate 50% of the damage, so. Stay away. Even with Mumbo, she still doesn't even do anywhere near what she, a normal hit would have from her would have done. However, this does weaken him, leaving him out of quick repose. And on the other side, their air was left behind. And Efren just took advantage of that. So both tower hits, and as opposed to attacking with Lynn, they reposition Julia and have her take out Efren. They left Leon over there, still panic, and we no longer with quick repose. There goes Lilina doing what she's been doing always. For you. She can't kill him, but she does weaken him enough for unit to do exactly six damage. I wanted to be you, Ephra. And that's it, that's how they lose um, one unit, two units already. Yeah, unit has no chance against Fallen Julia. And there goes Julia. Move Julia in to take out Lilina. And yeah, they should have done that from the start. Because now here, watch my team troll them. This is really funny. And they're like, nope. That's pretty fun. So they have switched units around. Unfortunately, that just meant that Sotis now had a clear path to their Lin. And she has serious active because when the bolt tower hit her, Wrath activated, gave her the uh, next cooldown, and then Sirius was fully charged. And from there, they just give up. They had two turns, I guess, but yeah, they lost three units by that time. Okay, so let's get on today's match. We've been getting really odd matches this week, so. Good, no fortress advantage today, a lot of red. This is probably the annoying one. Oh, it's just a flash. Okay, so let's take a look. 
Peony. Uh, chill speed, no special. Raven, plus 10, plus 10. Uh, flashing blade, train attack speed, close call. Distant counter, Luna. Luna, so not a Gale Force one. Although with 53 speed, uh, flash call. I mean, flashing blade and close call, that's gonna be pretty annoying. Base Roy, plus 10, plus 10, Binding Blade Refine for Quick Repose, Shove, Ether, Disencounter, Nulsi, Infantry Pulse, and Speed plus 3. So that means this Raven has Luna at 1 cooldown. Ah, uh, Ryoma, very a uh, unit you don't see every day. Uh, Fire Sweep, Mumbo, Life and Death, Bushido, Guidance, Aerobatics. That probably most annoying unit I'm gonna have to fight in this map. Lucius, attack and speed ploy with Razzle Dazzle, Flash, Miracle, Martyr Plus. And finally, Ephraim, plus three Ephraim, Flame Sigmund. Flame Sigmund, mm, I don't know. Infantry units don't get a lot of movement. Oh, another infantry pulse, that means uh, Luna is uh, pre charge, no follow up, HP attack too. So, Ephraim is probably gonna be the. Um, most annoying thing for Roy, just because uh, Death Blow 4, and I guess if you leave him for last, he'll be more annoying. And then this Lucius is also going to be pretty annoying, just because uh, I don't really have. I have a Null C counter, but that would require me to put somebody in range of him, which means like over here, break this and break this embed him out with uh, Leon then this Ryoma will go one two get dance and then either go one and destroy this well there's this rally so I guess the rally will happen and then the dance will happen but yeah he'll go and break this whoever goes out will eventually go to break this I guess we can bring Ike We haven't done Leon Ike this week, so and we can shut down uh Peony with Mela. The panic manner is on this side, so don't even gotta worry about that. The time has come. Alright, tiny dwarf, emo dwarf. Let's get on. The good thing about this team is that I have boss from anywhere. Thanks to Erica. All right, so the only thing he doesn't have like is speed, this. but what next? The which he is going to be a little annoying when dealing with this Raven. I won't lose. Um, speed is probably the one thing that's going to come into play the most. But I can take a hit from the Raven. Even Lunas, I'll just have to draw him out to where I'm winning healing tower range. All right, so let's get rid of this Lucius once and for all. Tear them to shreds. He won't be able to do anything since we are shutting him down. Let's move. Death's caress. I put you here, I and I guess we give you a little bit of buffs. All right, Lucius comes out, <laughs> and Lucius is gone. All right, that gets rid of the most annoying part. So Ryoma did move first, like I expected. All right, Peony is next to what get next? Uh, baited. Yes. Um, do not like where air is. Just because then this Ryoma will jump, will attack. Let's move. Hmm. I wanted to draw a peony, but unfortunately I won't be able to. It will be done. Let 
You have a shove and... The glimmer of life. Guess we can take a... Hit this Ryoma and then just back away. Meanwhile, we can go up this wing to bait out this Ephraim. Keep up. Of which course. we should be able Tear to double to team shreds. with Leon and Erica. He has no speed whatsoever. No follow up is a really odd choice with 30 speed. Like this. I could leave Mila right here and have Peony be forced to attack her blessing. since she doesn't counter. So like let's this. do that. Death's caress. Her this Ryoma. I won't lose. And of course. start opening up path this way. But does he have Mumbo? Mumbo does damage. I would have preferred Glimmer, but... Alright. Peony did attack Mila just like I wanted. Which means I can now take out Peony. Um, get rid of this, well, get out done. of this thing strange, and start moving backwards. The glimmer of life. Bye bye, Ryoma. Yeah. Let's move. And I guess we will stay in Roy Strange. Alright, and then we'll just back up slowly. What next? Oh yeah, this Leon is not really that big a threat. Tear them to shreds. We'll destroy this. To winter. We'll move over here. We will be out of uh this tactics from range, which means we can take both eaters out next turn. Yes. Air will be the one that takes care of Leon. So we I just back up. Blessing. Enough to be out of uh, Ephraim range and like this. max Glimmer range for this I won't lose. Leon to attack us, which should be right here. So he'll hit Luna. Settle down. We hit Ether. He hits Luna, and we finish him off. All right. Get this, get this, Death's and get caress. you. Fly, Livia. Yeah, the, the key to this map was getting rid of that Lucius as soon as possible, because then just having healing around things and using Flash to prevent you from countering, he needed to go from day one. All right, Imodwarf, thank you for your match. I guess this is probably the most competent team we fought this week. Like, the one that actually made, like, we couldn't make dumb mistakes like we've been doing for pretty much every match this week. But yeah, it was a pretty, it's a pretty decent map. I mean, like I said, Without Nolts, if it didn't bring an old C, I wouldn't have been able to get rid of uh, that, l that Leon. So it was necessary for me to have Nolt C. Uh, what else is new? Well, let's see where our standings are. We are number three on the friend list. 
uh, Kid Angel surpassed Itsuki for Smash, which um, you had changed your Itsuki for somebody else. Um, forgot who it was. But yeah, I uh, was well, surprised that you had switched out your Itsuki, but I guess you put him back. Uh, Kiran is number one, ESLA, Door Dragon, Darren, Kimo, Diego, and Rekadol, Kitsune, Ghosting, and everybody else. Uh, summoning, do not think there's anything to summon. But we'll check. Ah, no, there is this really good Rouse Skills banner. This is a really good uh, banner because all three of these units are really good units. Percival, I really do not like fighting Percival's on defense teams because he's fast, he has a lol, he has attack, defense, solo. He is, his price land gives him stats. It's really annoying to like fight Percival when he's on a defense team, I really don't like it. This is a video called like run away from Percival in my video it was like stay away from him while I clean everything else and then deal with him at the end. Uh, Fallen Leon, of course, we just literally just saw what he does on two different maps on the defense, um, my defense. Someone fighting him against my defense team, which you just saw even panic, he was still able to take out Bernie and on my team, he got rid of that super annoying Le uh, Lucius. And then Fallen Melkorn, which is just a giant ball of stats with his brutal breath, giving him, um, what is it, guard effect on enemies. Uh, that is the, um, yep, special cooldown minus one on four per attack. So yeah, he, he has guard on his weapon, null follow up. Um, Fast, he has all sorts of annoying things to play with. So it is a really good banner if you're looking to pick up any of these units. Plus, there's plenty of good uh, fodder with lol solos, no follow up, um, no CD drop, bonus doubler. I said this is one of the best banners for either units or fodder, but we're just gonna redeem blue if not green. So we're gonna go for green, redeem green. It would be cool for a, a Leon merch. Oh. A kidnap, all right. Another kidnap to add to the list of merch project. Plus HP. Uh, this is my merch project color, so. Um, you know what? I will throw four orbs at this green orb. But that's about it. I am not summoning past that. This banner is good enough for to spend four orbs on it. But Merrick is not good enough to spend any orbs on it. Or feathers. Or skills. Alright. No regrets. And yep. That is pretty much it for today. Um, hope your week, your week has been going well, and as easy as mine has. I mean, we still have two days, so the last two days are where you start fighting high tier people. Um, that losses did brought us out of tier 25. Like with no losses, we would have been at tier 25, so. Um, being a tier 24 means we get to fight another match against l a little lower li tier people. But yeah, uh, with all that extra being said, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.